Hello friends, welcome back to Quantum Quandary. In this video, we'll calculate the sum of the Fibonacci numbers and their squares. I've written here the sum of uh, the mth powers of Fibonacci numbers. So for m greater than, oh well, for m a natural number. Um, and here we'll just do for m equals one and m equals two. So the Fibonacci numbers, of course, satisfying this uh, these initial conditions and recurrence relation. So you can refer to a previous video for an introduction. Uh, the sum of just Fibonacci numbers up to the nth one uh, is like this, and I can rewrite this, of course, starting from one because the nth one is zero. Um, and now uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the index to go back from zero. So I get j plus one, and here it's uh, up to n minus one, right? And now I'm going to use this star formula to um, write fj plus one as fj plus two minus fj, okay? And now, uh, this part I recognize as S1n, okay? And this part, uh, I'm going to change the indices. So this will be from j equals two to n plus one fj, right? So now um, let's add in the two missing ones. So it'll be, what am I doing? I'm completing so that it would go from zero, right? N plus one fj, and then I need to subtract f0 and f1. F0 is zero though. And then here I'll write this as S1n, okay? Now this is S, sorry, it's not S1n, it's, it's SN1n uh, minus one. Uh, now this one is just S1n plus one, okay? This is equal to zero, and this is equal to one. Uh, and now, so I get the difference s1 and plus 1 minus s1 and minus 1 and minus 1. Um, and now, I mean, this is, this is simple. Just taking a difference of two series, you just get the terms that aren't covered by the smaller one. Uh, so we get fn plus 1 plus fn minus 1, and that's fn plus 2 minus 1 using star. Um, right, so s1n is fn plus 2 minus 1. That's a nice little compact formula. Of course, um, so you see uh, I could compactify this with fn plus 2, and get a really nice formula. So I have a clear way to make a nice formula for the solution. As we get into higher powers, it becomes less and less obvious what formula would be considered nice. And this, this is the problem I have with the cubics, for example. Okay, so let's, let's do the quadratic. So S2n is the sum of um, yep, so j goes to zero, from zero to n of fj squared. So just like um, we had a difference help us calculate for s1, so we will do here as well. So I'll define alpha, which, which you'll see why it's relevant, alpha as the sum, j goes from one, one to n, of fj plus 1 fj. Of course, it could go from 0 as well, because this part would kill the, the 0 term. Uh, and so notice that alpha n is, so using that this is fj plus fj minus 1, which is star, uh, this is s2n plus alpha n minus 1. Right, because because then this would be equal to sum of j equals one to n f j squared, which is the same as s two n because zero is zero f zero is zero, and then we get the sum, and I, I'll just exchange the order because of course they commute. 
j goes from one to n, <clears throat> and now we can we can switch the index, right to um, to see that this is alpha n minus one. We can update the index, so this is this is equal to the sum of j goes from zero to n minus one of f j f j plus one. Well, yeah, f j plus one. Okay, <clears throat> and then and then you just change back to one because the first term is zero. Okay, so now now from here, of course, s two n is just the difference alpha n minus alpha n minus one. Whenever you get a difference, you're you're happy. So we just compute the difference. It's what if it's f n plus one, f n. This term looks even nicer. So s two n is f n plus one, f n. We have the first two sums. Uh, for the third sum, as I said, um, you'll get a mess, and it's not clear to me um, what kind of form would look as nice as these would. If if you guys have any suggestions, I'd love to see it in the comments. So, right in particular, this is what the third, uh, the sum of third powers would look like, and. Um, you also want to look at differences of the form. Let's say beta is beta n is the sum from j j equals one to n of f uh, j plus two f j plus one f j things like that. And then you'd also want f j plus one f j squared for maybe gamma n if you wish to call it that, etc. You play with these and, and eventually you do get an explicit formula for S3n in terms of, you know, the higher up Fibonacci numbers, but um, it doesn't look as nice as these do. Okay, well, I hope you guys liked it and see you guys next time.